Hey everybody, Dr. Cool Saints here. I'm Jonah. And I'm Matt. And we got the set rares for set 25. Yep. Didn't completely forget about these at all. No. <laughs> uh, I think they're called Dragon Ball rares. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, they're all Z unisons, far I remember. Uh, and to start off with, we've got Android 17, which is yellow. Um, so, specify cost of 2, 2Z two energy, 15k power. Permanent, uh, discard, can't attack, and gain Shenron in all areas. Now, they all share that permanent. Yeah. As far as I remember as well. Yeah, they do. Uh, they all have a minus seven, again, from what I remember. Yeah. Um, not sure if they all have a plus two. But anyway, this one is a plus two, activate main, choose those two of your opponent's battle cards, and all units to switch into rest mode. Standard yellow. Uh, and then the minus seven, activate main, choose those one of your opponent's cards, and switch it to rest mode. Play up to one battle card from your drop with your skills negated for the game, and you can't play battle cards until the end of your opponent's turn. So That's just, not too bad. Just gives you another party on the board. Yeah, and you switch a card and put it to rest mode. So. Yeah. And then we've got a Zamasu, which is, again, it's yellow. It's a specified 2, 1 ZNG, permanent Shenron. Um, it's got plus 1 item main. Choose one of your battle cards from the range cost of 3 or less, and get its skills for the game. And your opponent gains control of it for the game. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and gain control of it. Ah, so you just You swap. give them a skillless card and you take something as a threat. Yeah. Basically. And then, Maya 7, active main. Choose one of your battle cards and gains indestructible until the end of your opponent's turn. You can't activate skills and copies of this card during your next turn. But chances are the Maya 7 will just kill it off anyway. Yeah. Uh, so you got Krillin, Wish After Conflict. So, two costs, specify blue, two Z energy, again, same permanent, plus two activate main, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and you just have five or less and place at the bottom of the owner's deck. Spot removal is always nice. That is a really good plus two. Yeah, so five or less is quite good. Yeah. Uh, minus seven, activate main, your leader gains the following skill and it's the end of your opponent's turn. Permanent, negate the keyword skills and all your opponent's battle cards. So, yeah. negate all the strike skills, basically. Well, strike skills, protection skills. Yeah. Dual, like double attack and all that. Yeah. So, that's really good. And we've got a Goku, which is red. Um, so, permanent, same as the others. It's got, well, yeah, specified 2, um, 2 ZNG. It's got it's plus 2. 20k power. How much did Aquila have? 15. 15. How much did 15. you have? 15. Oh, okay. So yeah. this one's 20. Why not? <laughs> Goku. Um, so, plus two active main. Choose one of your opponent's battle cards and gets minus 20 for the turn. Standard red. Yep. Minus seven active main. During your opponent's next turn, when your leader is attacked, the power of the cards attacking becomes one. Then that card's power returns to its original value at the end of the battle. You can't activate skills and copies of this card during the next turn. So... Anytime you put attack, so just go down to one power. Um, only for that one battle. So if they got a dual attack leader, then they can swing again with one. Because it goes then back. Because power returns the original value at the end of the battle. Yeah. So during your opponent's next turn, when your leader is attacked, the power of the attack card becomes one. Then powers return to the original value at the end of the turn. But it doesn't specify once per turn. At the end. Well, no, because it says at the end of that battle. Yeah, but when your leader's attacked, the power goes to 1. So if they swung again, the power would go back to 1, because it's not until the end. I think you... I think you might be going the wrong way with this, but... Well, the, like, the way I am reading it is that any time they attack your leader, their power will go to 1, and it will go back at the end of battle. Instead of it just being like, oh, I'm attacked, go to one, next time you attack, nothing happens. Mm. I don't know. I mean, when we get rulings for it, then we'll know for definite. Yeah. Uh, so you got Oolong, there's two costs for the specified cost, and then one's the energy. What colour is it? It's green. <laughs> 
good point. It's green. Uh, it's got 15 gate power. It's got, again, same tournament. Plus one activate main. Your opponent scars one card from the hand. So, oh. so green. Yeah. Uh, minus seven activate main during your opponent's next turn. If your opponent would draw a card by the skill of a non leader card and you place up to one battle card. Um, no, sorry. So if they draw off a non leader skill, you place up to one battle card from your opponent's draw up at the bottom of their deck instead. And you can't activate copies. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, they gain a battle card back to the bottom of their deck instead of drawing. Yeah. But most things these days do end up having that kind of skill as part of their on plays, or you draw and then you play them because that makes perfect sense. But it just means every time they would draw outside of a skill, you put a card to the bottom. <coughs> yeah. Outside of the leader. Yeah. I want that for green so bad. Well, what I'm going to say is the idea, the best thing to do is probably pick up two copies of every single one of these. Yeah. Um, just because you have no idea when you're going to use these. So, and they all are generic for the colours. Yeah. I, so I'm, why wouldn't you? I'm <coughs> definitely grabbing two to three you long, for sure. So we've got Chi Lai, which is black. It's specified one, one ZNG, 20k power for such a low cost. Um, it's got permanent, same reservers, plus one active main, look at three cards from the top of your deck, place with one back card and its owner's drop, or sent to the owner's warp, then place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So, good for black in general, Yep, because it just puts one in drop to help overwhelm, and for trunks, puts a saying in. It puts a saying into the warp, Yep, straight away. So that's really good, and it's a low cost unison, so... <laughs> Like, it's kind of <coughs> stupid, it's a low cost with 20k. Um, and it's got minus 7 active main, choose one of your battle cards sent to your warp. Add up to 3 battle cards with a range cost between 3 and 7 from your warp to your hand. So, you can swing with a battle card, send it to its, send it to the warp because you've probably played it through over realm. Hmm. Get 3 cards back to your hand. And just have... Combo power in hand. Yep. <laughs> oh, so we're on to the blue. Oh, another blue. Oh, another blue. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of skipped, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, we got Goku and Freezer. Okay. So, it's specified cost of two, and then one's the energy. It's got 20k power. Of course, it's got the same permanent. Um, plus one, activate main. At the end of your turn, switch on one of your energy to active mode. <laughs> so basically play this out as soon as possible and then just keep plussing one every single turn because just, just get energy back <laughs> why wouldn't you and then minus seven activate main choose all uh, choose all of you and your opponent's battle cards uh, ignoring barrier place them at the bottom of the owner's deck in any order add up to one Goku card and up to one freezer card both mono blue and for inch cost of seven or less from your deck to your hand and then shuffle your deck I mean, without looking at the card pool, I'm not 100% sure what the ideal targets are. What the but... ideal deck for that is. I mean, the minus 7 just being able to board wipe is pretty good. But I feel like you're just going to play it and, like I said, you just go plus 1 every turn and do nothing else with this. It's just like plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1. It's like, yeah, and then you'll do the minus 7 if you really need to. You'll do the minus 7 if you basically, like, I can push for game. Minus seven, wipe the board, then just do my own thing. Ah, that's it. Yeah. Because there's promos. Yep. Honestly, just pick up two, or depending on how many copies you do personally want to run, but as I'm going to say personally, as um, what I've seen from them, you want at least two of these in every colour, if you do play every colour. Um, otherwise, just grab a minimum of two for the colour you play. Yeah. Obviously, Jonah said he's going to get three of the oolong because <laughs> he wants that thing on the board. I, I play a lot of green decks, and it's just yeah. useful. Uh, so, yeah, guys, uh, leave any thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.